Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the domain name system or DNS. Now the DNS or the domain name system is a very important topic in computer networking. The DNS is the phone book of the internet. Humans access information online through domain names like example.com. So whatever name of this site uh, you have whatever are the names of the site like various social networking sites or these uh, sites which help you to search certain stuffs or the uh, shopping apps any such site whatever is the name of that site is known as the domain name right so be it any site uh, be it for social networking be it for searching something be it for online shopping whatever sites you access the names of those sites are known as domain names for example if i say www.example.com here i am not taking the name of any specific website so a hypothetical name we i have assumed which is example.com or www.example.com so this particular name of the website is known as its domain name web browsers interact through internet protocol addresses now when the web browsers are interacting with the web servers in that case they are interacting through the ip addresses ip addresses as you know are the logical addresses which uniquely identify a device among other devices on a network so a unique identification uh, is given to the device with the help of ip address so ip address is unique for each device just like your aadhar number your aadhar card number is unique for all the individuals and it is uniquely identifying every individual from among others similarly the ip address is unique for all the hosts and it is uniquely identifying each host among several hosts so when the web browser is interacting with the web server it is through the ip address and not the domain names right so we as humans we as humans uh, uh, um, uh, identify a particular website through its domain name and the web browsers identify that particular website through the ip address right so now you get the difference that we identify it with the help of a domain name and the web browser identifies it with the help of a ip address so now comes the role of a domain name system now you may say when we are identifying a particular website through its web address or its uh, through its domain um, through its domain name and when the web browser is identifying the same website through the ip address then how are uh, how is it possible that the both are compatible so here comes the role of a translator right just like one person knows french and the other person knows english so in between you need a translator who would know both english and french similarly as we identify the websites through their web addresses known as domain names and the web browsers identify the same websites through their ip addresses so there comes the need for a translator and this translator is your domain name system or the dns which does the task of translating the domain names to ip addresses so that browsers can load internet resources because you are calling that website through a particular uh, name but the browser does not identify that name so the dns first of all translates that particular domain name into its respective ip address so that now the browser can load the internet resource or that particular website that you are demanding for so every time you type www.example.com that is the domain name of that website now the browser does not recognize it by its domain name so the dns first of all convey, converts www.example dot com to a respective ip address and then the web browsers identifies it okay this is the website that is being demanded for and then it will send the request to access that particular website 
each device connected to the internet has a unique IP address that we all know, which other machines use to find the device, right? Because we have to find one particular device among all other devices in order to communicate it, uh, with it. And then how will we find it? Through its unique address, which is the IP address. The DNS server eliminates the need for humans to memorize the IP addresses, right? With the help of DNS server, you do not need to identify the IP address because the DNS will take care of translating the domain name into the respective IP address. Just like as with the help of a translator, you don't need to learn French if there is a person who knows just French and if there is a person who knows just English then the person knowing English does not need to learn French if there is a translator translator in between who can convert your English into French and his French into English similarly as a user humans do not need to memorize the IP addresses because uh, it is more convenient for them to remember the domain names. It is easier for you to uh, remember any domain name, for example, uh, facebook.com or any uh, domain name. If I give you the IP address of that particular website and I ask you to remember the IP address of all the websites, whichever you access on a daily basis, it is going to get very complicated and difficult for you to remember their IP addresses. So you do not need to get into this uh, headache of remembering the IP addresses. All you need to uh, do is remember the web address, rest the DNS will take care of. You just type the web address and this DNS which is your very translator will translate it into its respective IP address and then it will give that IP address to the web browser. So you do not need to memorize or worry about the IP addresses. You can simply remember the websites by their web addresses which are also known as their domain names like www.example.com or www.anything.com because as humans it is much easier for us to remember names in this form rather than huge complicated IP addresses right so as I said that IP addresses can be complex like 192.168.1.1 now this is the IP version 4 addressing scheme right or it could be a more complex newer alphanumeric IP address such as 2400 colon cb00 like this so do you think it is possible as humans for us to remember the these ip addresses and not just one several such ip addresses there are so many websites which we access on a daily basis or a weekly or a monthly basis so do you think is it possible for us as humans to remember such complex ip addresses no, it's not possible. So the convenient way out is to remember them by their names. But since the web browser does not know them by their names, so the DNS translates these uh, domain names into their respective IP addresses, which are like this. So this is a IP version 6 IP address, which is alphanumeric and more complex. And this is a IP version 4 address. Any, uh, which uh, like which anyway whichever IP addressing is being used it is not possible for a layman or a human to remember all such IP addresses so the process of DNS resolution involves converting a host name or a domain name such as the such as example.com into a computer friendly IP address such as 192.168.1.1 so this makes the task easier an IP address is given to each device on the internet that we all know and that address is necessary to locate the example.com web page. Now say for example as a human you typed www.example.com on your address bar right wherein you type the URL. So when you typed example.com immediately the domain in system translated it to its, uh, to its respective IP address through which that particular device would be identified on the internet. So types of uh, DNS service, servers if we talk of the types of DNS servers there are basically four types of DNS servers which are involved in loading a web page. When I talk of DNS then again there are four types of DNS servers and when you want to load a web page on your screen when you're sitting on a client machine with the help of a web browser so basically when you type a web address on a web browser then four DNS servers are required to 
complete this task of conversion and finally load a web page on your home on your uh, web browser so the first kind of the uh, dns server is the dns recursion now what is dns recursion dns recursion is a server which is designed to receive queries from client machines through applications such as web browsers so whatever request for whichever page you receive through a web browser it is with the help of the dns recursion so it is basically a server which is designed specifically to receive the queries from the web browser of the client site for a particular web page recursion is responsible for making additional requests in order to satisfy the client's dns query right then is your root name server what is root name server the root server is the first step in translating human readable host names into ip addresses so when i uh, when we talk of the recursor uh, dns recursor the task of dns recursor is to simply receive a request from the client side that's it now when you know that a dns translates that particular web address into respective ip address so the task of translation starts from here from the root name server so it is the root name server that translates human readable host names into their respective ip addresses it can be thought of as an index in a library that points to different racks of books just like in a rack of books there are several books and out of that you want one particular book so how do you find it with the help of index similarly out of so many web pages available on a server you want want to find out one specific web page how would you uh, locate it with the help of its ip address and where do you get that ip address from when the dns root name server translates that particular domain name into its respective ip address so hence the uh, do a root name server can be thought of as an index in a library which is pointing to a uh, particular book in the different racks of books here it is pointing to a particular ip address from among all different ip addresses so typically it serves as a reference to other more specific locations the third dns server is your tld name server the tld name server is the top level domain tld here stands for top level domain so the top level domain server or the tld name server can be thought of as a specific rack of books in a library the name server is the next step in the search for a specific ip address and it hosts the last portion of a host name for example in example.com tld server is .com right so basically it is representing the last portion of a host name for example if it is uh, example.edu then tld server is edu if it is .in then the tld server is .in if it is .com then the tld server is .com so uh, basically it uh, it is in uh, it searches for a specific ip address and it hosts the last portion of a host name the fourth and the final dns server is the authoritative server uh, authoritative name server or the authoritative server so this final name server can be thought of as a dictionary on a rack of books in which a specific name can be translated into its definition the authoritative name server is the last stop in the name server query right this is the last and final step in the name server query if the authoritative name server has access to the requested record it will return the ip address for that requested host name back to the dns recursor that made the initial request so this is all about dns